a gay mark of this production. Hi guys, it's Archivist doing an unscripted video today about 1080p and 900p and 720p and all those good resolutions on the next generation consoles and how I feel developers are probably trying to squeeze too much out of them which actually ends up hurting us as consumers. Now a lot of people buy excellent TVs, excellent 1080p TVs and then they plug their console in and they have to go back down to 720p and that's been the case with the current gen consoles for a while now you get very few games that run at 1080p on current gen consoles uh, barely any anymore, I, I can't even name a single I think there was a virtual tennis one back in the first days of release of the Xbox 360 but other than that you don't really get anything but um, it's possible and how is it possible? Well, you simply have to scale back other elements of the game. You have to reduce shadow quality, you have to uh, reduce draw distance, and so on and so forth. And um, I, for one, actually prefer to get high resolutions over these little graphical niches. Um, whenever I'm playing on my MacBook Pro, for example, uh, World of Warcraft, I tweak the settings so I can get a perfect 60 frames per second at the 900p, which is the maximum for my screen. So what I'm saying is why, why not allow this kind of control on consoles? Uh, I have only seen it in a few places, for example Saints Row 4 which came out. Um, by default it has vertical sync disabled which means the frame rate is slightly better, yes, but you get this horrible screen tearing effect where um, if you're not aware of what this means it's like little ripples kind of go up the screen and it's really distracting and it kind of it instantly reminds you that you're playing on a screen, takes you out of the experience entirely. But it actually had the ability to enable vertical sync and while this did decrease the frame rate it got rid of the problem entirely and uh, why can't this be standard for all settings? Why not allow this kind of freedom? Um, so that's basically my question. Do you guys think it would be a good idea to introduce tweakable settings onto console games or do you like to be told exactly what to get for the most optimal experience, at least optimal by their standards? Uh, what do you prefer? Easy way or maybe a little bit more technical but tailor-made for you way? Uh, let me know in the comments. This has been a quick video but trying to speak spontaneously rather than scripted. A bit experimental. Um, as always guys, thanks very much for watching and see you next time.